Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, um, it's a great honor for me to be here at the 30th Health Summit to tell you about the uh, public health care in Finland and uh, rights-based approach to social welfare. Uh, well, in Finland, health and well-being is not only an issue for the individual and the family. It's responsibility of the public sector and obligation of the state. Uh, the Finnish public health care is an integral part of the Nordic welfare model, which um, in a nutshell means that the state guarantees everyone the same access to health, education and livelihood. So in Finland, the rich and the poor and the middle class, everyone uses the public health care. Our constitution says that the public authorities shall guarantee for everyone adequate social health and medical services and promote the health of the population. Public authorities shall support families and others responsible for providing for children so that they have the ability to ensure the well-being and personal development of the child. So you may ask, how is this responsibility taken care of in practice? Who pays for it and how does it function? Uh, well, in Finland we have something called public health stations which are open to all citizens and residents. Uh, Primary health care services are provided by municipal health centers and specialized medical care is provided by district hospitals. Uh, we also have private doctors and hospitals uh, available for those who prefer it, but, but those are often more expensive. Uh, private health care services include consultations with a doctor, health counseling, including health education, contraception advice, maternity and child welfare, medical examinations, screening and vaccinations, dental services, school and student health care, mental health service, emergency treatment and home care services for those who are rich. <coughs> Public health care in <coughs> Finland is not free, but charges are very reasonable. It's the responsibility of municipalities and is primarily funded by taxes. So compared to many other countries in Europe and in the world, Taxes are high in the Nordic countries. The cost for seeing a doctor at the public health care center is about 20 euros, about 1,600 rupees. This cost may be charged a maximum of three times per year. So fees for public health care have an upper limit per calendar year, beyond which clients are no longer required to pay. So that means that if you are ill and need a doctor 20 times per year, you still have to pay only for three times. And if the standard fees undermine maintenance obligations of clients or their families, municipalities must have char charges according to clients' ability to pay. So this means that if you are too poor to pay the fee of 20 euros to visit the doctor, you can still visit the doctor. Uh, women should visit a maternity clinic as soon as they become pregnant or before the end of the fourth month of pregnancy. The clinic monitors the health of the pregnant woman and the child, and these services are also free of charge. And when the baby is born, the doctors and nurses of the infant health care takes care of the health and vaccinations of the child. Uh, in Finland, we also have a very special form of supporting uh, families, uh, maternity package of clothing and other essentials for a baby which is given to the mother of the child, which is the, the hospital. Uh, pregnant mothers also are, are allowed uh, entitled to maternity allowance and child allowance is paid until the child is 17 years old. Uh, well, the Finnish model is of course only one way to guarantee the right to health, which is a universally recognized human right. I told you that the Finnish constitution requires recognize the right to health, but it's also universally recognized. It's worth to note that 169 countries, including India and Finland, have ratified the international covenant on economic, social, and cultural rights. And this covenant states that special protection should be accorded to mothers uh, before and after childbirth. Uh, protection and assistance should be taken on behalf of all children and young persons without any discrimination. And in addition, the covenant stipulates that state parties should work for uh, reduction of the stillbirth rate and of infant mortality, the improvement of all aspects of our mental and industrial hygiene, the prevention, treatment and control of epidemic, endemic, occupational and other diseases, and the prevention of 
conditions which would assure to all medical service and medical attention in the event of sickness. Of course, one must understand that conditions are different in different countries. The right to health is difficult to promote in a very poor environment or if there is a war or a, or a conflict. But I believe that non-discrimination is key. Uh, no ethnical groups, minorities or vulnerable segments should be discriminated against. States must ensure that everyone enjoys the same right to health. The Finnish public health system, which I told you about, well, was not developed overnight. Finland was very poor in the 19th century. We had famine in the 1860s. Finland fought a bloody civil war in 1918 and suffered many casualties in the Second World War. But at the same time, the wartime also boosted plans to organize specialized medical treatment because of the increased need owing to wartime casualties. The establishment of central public hospitals took place mainly in the 1950s and 1960s. The model uh, were drawn from the other Nordic countries and from Germany. But already in the 1940s, maternal childcare was organized. In 1950s, we had the development of the hospital system. In 1960, the introduction of the national health insurance scheme. And in 1970s, a large increase in the number of medical doctors. And in 1980s, the healthcare and social services were incorporated into the same national planning and financing system. Uh, of course, despite telling this, there are still health problems in Finland as everywhere else. Uh, alcohol, drugs, tobacco, mental problems, just to mention a few. But uh, according to statistics, Finland has done quite well. 9% of Finland's GDP is youth for health. Uh, the life expectancy of newborn males in Finland is say, 29 years. For boys and for newborn females, it's 84 years. The death rate for children under five is now less than three per 1,000. And also the maternal death rate is very low. Uh, vaccination coverage for small children is 95% and many diseases like rabies, tuberculosis and red missiles are to totally or almost eradicated. So we can see that uh, according to these numbers the Finnish model has worked out quite well. And I hope of course that this model can also, also serve as a good example for, for decision makers in India and elsewhere in the world. I thank you for your attention.